As part of this year's Juneteenth celebrations, the city of Hamtramck unveiled its newly refurbished baseball stadium today. The historic facility built in 1930 for the Negro Baseball League. And at the time, African Americans were not allowed to play in the major leagues. Yeah, the Hamtramck Stadium is one of only five major Negro Leagues home ballparks across the country. And Seven Action News reporter Faraz Javid shares what the renovations mean to the community. Baseball is back at the historic Hamtramck Stadium. And fans can't hold back their excitement. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Plus, with all the renovations to the stadium and Juneteenth celebrations, folks say the timing is perfect. This is really exciting. Pretty nostalgic. Nearly $3 million have been spent to renovate this historical stadium while still keeping some of the original elements in place. For example, this brick wall dates back from the 1930s, and so does that steel structure. Meanwhile, the bleachers, the roof, and the field have all been renovated, and more is expected to come in the coming months, bringing back the sense of pride to the community. This is a stadium or a thing of baseball that we've needed in Detroit for a long time. Adam Milken used to be part of the ground crew. For the 56-year-old, the stadium is the future for people of color playing baseball. It has unlimited potential because it's right smack dab in the middle of Hamtramck. Echoing the same sentiment was pioneering Detroit player and coach Ron Teasley Sr. He is one of the four living players from the Negro League's era. The stadium is filled with, with African Americans. As a, as a result of seeing so many people enjoying the game, it inspired me to get into the game of baseball. When it comes to this facility, what do you think was the game changer for having more African Americans play within the Major League Baseball? Softball was really big back then. But when they, when, they, when they moved into the stadium, more boys started playing baseball. And as a result, we had uh, uh, tremendous teams and, and the Negro League teams started to expand. The path created then paved the way for future generations, like 17-year-old Davion Williams, a Detroiter at heart and a catcher on the field. It set the tone for black people for playing baseball. Now we know that we have to be at a high level playing baseball. MLB's recent report shows as of opening day 2022, 38% were players of color, of which 18% were black, and for comparison, back in 1991, it was only 7.2%. I love seeing people of my color going to the highest level playing at their base potential. Reporting in Hamtramck, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.